I mean, they're, they're a very patient team. Uh, they're going to work late to the shot clock, so that means we got to stay engaged defensively for long periods of time. Um, but they have a lot of good players, even um, with without one of their guys, or if he does play. They got a lot of good players out there, so we just got to stay locked in on what we do and stay locked in on our principles and go out there ready to compete. I mean, they, they still have a lot of guys that can shoot the ball well. Um, three or four guys out there that are, are strong shooters, shooting good percentages from three, so we got to get out there and tag them on the three-point shots, and we got to make sure we get defensive rebounds. They got a lot of guys, even with their guards, who are really good rebounders and get to the glass well, so that's a big thing for us is trying to keep our three-point line and um, make sure we defensive rebound. Uh, not in recent memory. I mean, there's a few teams we played before. Villanova had pretty much five perimeter guys. A lot of teams that played spread out like that with five perimeter guys. But that but works well for us, you know, with Chad being able to guard well in the perimeter. And we got mobile bigs with Rokas as well. So uh, their five guard system or however guard, I guards they play wings, um, we should be able to handle it with the guys we have out there. I'm confident in the players we have that we'll be able to deal with whatever they throw with us. And then, you know, they got guards on the other end as well. I mean, that would be great, just not for this team, but for the program moving forward. Uh, we're continuing to try to be a group of guys that can leave our legacy and leave our mark on this team. I mean, leave our mark on UCF basketball as, you know, 2017, 2018 season. So that'll be a great mark for us moving forward and getting ready for the AAC tournament going to March. I mean, that's that's awesome. It's awesome for me and AJ to be able to, to accomplish something like that. I mean, AJ's been here. I mean, AJ came in the same year, both, you know, that same summer back in 2014, and we've been through a lot of stuff here at UCF. We've been through a lot of changes, a lot of uh, adversity as well, with him being injured, having to sit out, and then me being injured, having to sit out. We've been through a lot, so it's just exciting for us to be able to be the first duo to, to accomplish uh, something like that and, you know, be the leaders of our team, you know, in his last senior year, me being a veteran leader on this team. It's just awesome, and hopefully we can continue to do what we can to help the team win. I mean, it's vital that we have a sense of urgency to, to accomplish what we want to accomplish the rest of this season. Um, we're coming down to the last five games in conference, then the ASC tournament starts. So we got to have a sense of urgency. We got to be ready to go every single night, and we got to treat every single game as we've been trying to do all season's championship game. Uh, I might watch some of it. Uh, celebrity All Star game tonight. I know Quavo and uh, Justin Bieber are in it. So I might watch some of that, but uh, probably get my rest tonight, and then hopefully we can see uh, who wins the dunk contest. That's always good. Uh, Aaron Gordon got hurt, you know, so he was the hometown pick for me, the you know, Orlando Magic guy. Um, but I can't even think. I can't even remember who's in it right now. I think Larry Nance is in Donovan it. Donovan Mitchell's in it. Donovan, yeah. Vic. I mean, they got like I, mean, I think Vic Vic's in it too. So they got a lot of young guys that's going to do some crazy stuff with it. I just, I just hope they keep it simple. I hope they keep it simple and make their dunks on the first try. It gets bored when they miss like three or four dunks in a row. So I hope it's exciting. They very well could try. I exposed myself. Um, but it don't matter. I mean, anybody who acts like they don't cry at the Fox and the Hound is just not being true to themselves. And I'm comfortable enough in my own skin to say that the Fox and the Hound is an emotional movie.